Let's go over to Walmart. Hector, I thought you said you couldn't do options. I'm so confused. If you could do them, I don't know why you didn't do the ones in the market. But either way, if you did this, make sure you book money if it's your first one today. Don't be a pig. It's your first option trade. Make sure you get out with profit. Um, and if anyone is still in this, you're in it and you're up, which is fine. But that might be the morning high, like the 10 o'clock-ish. Like you might have to hold this till 10.30, 10.45, 11, if you try to want to get this up to 105, which I don't have a problem with anyone doing. Wow, look at that. We had a good exit on that. Whew. But the market looks great. Everything looks fine. Let's go over Walmart. <clears throat> Anybody in anything else or any questions about anything else? WTW, we would have done it. We had nothing else today to do. But I don't know if I would have got out of this here. Well, I might have. I might have gotten out of it for 40 cents. I don't know. Let's look at HSBC. Hindsight's 2020. This did work. Surprisingly, it did work aggressive. I'm shocked. Uh, we would have made 20 cents. I don't think we missed out on anything here. What was the other one besides AAP, which was down, then it flipped? Very ugly. This was gapping down. Then it opened up. Really looks disgusting, actually. There was something else, though. What else did I look at this morning? What the heck was it? There was another one. Something else. Oh, well, Matt. This. I don't know what happened to this yesterday. And then I did look at this this morning. Yesterday, I mean, well, it was Friday. This just fell off a cliff. That was the other one I looked at. So, Spy's going to get over the high from Friday. A lot of strength in the market. What about Walmart? Is anyone still in it? If you're still in the option, that's fine. Is anybody still in this, though, as a day trade? Mimi, did you get out? Mimi, how much did you make? Maybe I want you to write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I want you to write everything you do every day. Track it. Koala Bear's out too. You've got to hold yourself accountable. If you hold yourself accountable, then at least you can go back if you look at something and didn't do something right or made a mistake. So that, you know, if you hold yourself accountable, you're going to be a lot better off. You say, wait a minute, did I screw this up or did it really not work? And then that's how you can fix whatever's going on to get better. Let's go over the gap. This was a... This is classic Melissa read on this. Why? Why was this so good? Write it in the room. Why? I had a good read on this gap. Besides the fact that we made money, well, I get some more coffee. Anyone? Open house people, new people, old people, anyone? Nobody, nobody guessed. Why is this a good read of the gap? Jackie's the only one that has any ideas. Come on. It did rate well, but that's neither here nor there. Obviously it rated well, we wouldn't have done it. took out the previous high no it didn't previous high in Walmart is my god it was a year ago January 29th 2018 is the previous high in Walmart if you mean yesterday's high that really isn't anything at all 9898 open high was a hundred yesterday but the previous high was a year ago more what else why was this a good read <coughs> nobody feels like guessing today is everyone out of this trade though or, or is anyone still in the day trade i'm just wondering if you're still in the option i have no problem with that but you know if you're still in the day trade you may have to wait another hour. I'm just letting you know. We had a great exit on this, though, today. 
anyways, this is a good read on this because this, the stock was, has run up for two weeks, 10 days. I mean, look at this here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 days up and then a big gap up. Most traders are looking to, for this to do what? Just fill the gap. Fill the gap down, sell off, drop down. 10 days up, big gap up. Most day traders are looking for this to fill this gap, to play it today as a day trade, which is would have been the wrong thing to do, wouldn't have worked. What we did was the right thing to do. This is beautiful, this will hold, this won't break the low. We really gave this a lot of room. We didn't even need to give it as much room as we did, but I did because things can make tails. I could have even given it more room actually. I could have given it 105.50, I mean 101.50. But it, it, what we did was fine. But anyways, long story short, most day traders are looking, thinking to play this as a short today. Not thinking that the stock isn't higher, but that they're gonna play it as a short, thinking it's gonna fill the gap. 10 days up and a big gap up. Doesn't work. The stock rated well per my system. The stock is getting bought. I don't care if it's 27,000 days up. This gap rated well is a long. Sell you what? B5 Andrew. Someone needs to sell you what? I'm selling you on my theory. Yes, it works. You're here for an open house. If you don't want to listen to what I'm saying, I'm kind of don't understand why you're here. Shorting WTW is the wrong thing to do. No, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be shorting it. If you short this stock today, you're gonna lose. <coughs> Let's look at this here. You see this here? Two red bars here. If you wanted to short this and make any money, you would have had to short here, which I don't know why you would have done, because this hit up in here, which is close to 104. You would have had to short it here and get out here. What were the chances of you doing that? Zero. No one needs a short w, WMT today for us to get covered in a long position. No, that doesn't even make any sense. Let's look what's out for tomorrow. I think I made my point. Um, Walmart will set up again, but I'm not doing it again. Why Oracle keeps coming up for something here. It's not doing anything. The one to watch tonight is HLF. Now again, I don't know what that does, but it looks like that is the one and let's look what's out for tomorrow morning. Oh, CVS. Could get something in that. CVS, Garmin, some big names out tomorrow morning. Sina, WBWWW. Actually, let's look at CVS. So this is tomorrow morning. CVS is a watch. I wouldn't be surprised if this gap's up, so I don't know. We're going to do whatever's the best gap. CVS is tomorrow morning. Could gap down, could gap up. I don't know. And HLF is tonight. Let's take a look at this. Is anyone still in Walmart or not? This is tonight. Here goes the market. Wow. What unbelievable strength in the market. Again, don't trade pullbacks. Look at this. Who is still in the option trades that I called for the market? Who? It looks like it's going to go straight to the to the to the next number. I mean, this today, this happening today, this is just incredible today. Brent's still in it. I'm shocked. How much are you up in it, Brent? There was three. Are you in all three? Gyro's still in it. He's good at holding. How much are you up in the SPY? Are you in one? Are you in two? Let's look at Cisco. <laughs> the 
this looks fine. This looks good. You got it. You got to This has got to get over. This has got to get over the area. This has got to get up to 50. This looks, this looks fine. There's nothing wrong with this. And even if the option's lagging, it doesn't matter. It'll get going again once it starts to get going, which this could, that could be today. I would watch that one today. I would watch them all today. Anyways, great read today by me on Walmart. Any questions from anyone about anything else? We'll see what we get tomorrow. Done for the day. I'm on TV today. I'm going to go get ready, get organized. Beautiful day. Congratulations, everyone. Back in a groove here. We're going to have an easy week. Oh, Jackie. Yeah, I'll go over that really quickly. For any time that you see something,